So uh, in this video, I will introduce about my team's game. It's called Invasion. So uh, it's, this is a casual infinite a shooter. So the idea of uh, this game was taken from the game Blaster, uh, Laser, Blast, Laser Blast Artery. So we will remake this game in the text-based graphics with more weapons, new animation, and faster pace. So this is the original game. So uh, my role is to create new animation and audio and as you can see that the animation and the sound effect of this of the original game is very uh, simple it is, it is because it's, uh, this game was made a long time ago for the, the uh, weak device and uh, so my uh, I planning to add more detail on the background and uh, improve the animation of the spaceship and the tank. And uh, I also want to add the, add some ambient music to the game to improve the uh, interesting for the player. And uh, that is the plan for now. Thank you. Hi there, so Laser Blast was the game we got inspiration from. Um, so for our alpha build, we have the basic game loop ready, but uh, not the sprites. So uh, our game is called Invasion and it's um, it's built over the saucer shoot, um, saucer shoot game. So let me just show you where we are at. So we haven't changed the music or the sprite, so uh, we'll do it for the final version. But our current game now uh, has three enemies and a wave system. Uh, we can see that the enemies are moving left to right. So as the player uh, progresses through the waves, uh, the speed of the enemy and the fire rate of the enemy, so enemies can shoot as well, so their fire rate will also increase. We have three types of weapons, if you click right, so one weapon we saw is the laser, it just shoots directly below. Another one is cannon, so it shoots wherever uh, we tell it to, so the wherever the reticle is telling it to shoot. And the final type is our missile, it just locks, locks into two enemies, so it shoots at, as hair. So it locks into two enemies and it just... It, it can shoot into one enemy, but like lock into one enemy as well. The missile will lock into an enemy and it will destroy them. It will just seek them wherever they are, no matter how fast they move, and they'll destroy them. Uh, we can also see that our weapons, they are regenerating over time, so they regenerate over, over time. So the laser region is faster, the cannon is a bit slower, and the missile is the slowest. Um, there's another feature, which is whenever we are equipped with laser, our enemy, our player can move a lot faster. Uh, for cannon, we if, if the the speed gets a bit slower. For missile, it's super slow because it's the most powerful. And we also have the new. We're planning to do with the final is incorporate that as as a type of weapons as well instead of having it here. So uh, we are at level twelve now. As we can see, as you can see that the enemies are moving much faster and they're shooting much, much faster. 
much frequently. So they will become much more aggressive as as we progress through the wave so that our wave system is ready. And for each kill player gets 10 points, we might, uh, for the final build, we might multiply the points uh, with our weight. And this way, as the player kills, uh, like destroys enemies uh, in the higher waves, they will get more points. That's uh, our current plan for the, for the final. And whenever the enemies are not in position, we cannot shoot them. So they need to be in position before we can shoot them. So the player cannot just stab them with laser as long as... So when they're getting into position, so they, they just can't spam them. So that's why you want to they need to be... The, the enemies need to be in position. Okay. So for the classes... Uh, so every new class and everything, uh, every changes uh, we did for the game is on the readme file and all the features of the game is listed on the readme file. Let me just go, go make you go through a few of them. So the hero class now has uh, a weapon enum. Uh, so it just uh, defines which weapon it's currently carrying and it's selected uh, from it, it also changes uh, like cycles through whenever we go whenever we click the right mouse button it will just cycle through and whenever we fire it will just it will just call the right uh, method for firing so for homing missiles what we are doing is a bit different so we are getting all the so all the enemies that are currently uh, in the scene, we're just putting them in in an in an array, and so basically we're putting them in in an array, and uh, we're just selecting one of them randomly, and that's our locked target, and the missile will lock lock into it and go towards it. Uh, and it will keep following the enemy until it's destroyed. If it gets destroyed by any other uh, weapon or by any means, maybe by a nuke, then we, it will lock into another enemy. So it will, uh, so never fire a missile, it will go to another enemy. It will just seek enemies. Um, how the uh, laser class works is it just uh, drops directly below, so it just shoots directly below the player. So it just shoots to three units below, it just goes there. And for the cannon, it, it uh, basically works how the saucer shoot bullet works exactly. So it just uh, follows the radical. That's yeah. Um, so uh, for the for the spawn system, like for, for the wave system, everything is controlled uh, through the player. So in our tank class, so this is our enemies class. So there, there's a few, uh, a few new things. So the tank, we need to provide, whenever we make a tank, we need to provide them with the ID and a rate of fire. So ID is one, two, three. So because we have three enemies, we, we send them one, two, three. The first one is one, second is two, third one is three. Rate of fire is how fast the enemies are shooting. It, the rate of fire also defines how fast the enemies are moving. So whenever we create a tank, we need to define these two variables. So as uh, we progress through the wave system, we also send the send a value uh, corresponding with the wave uh, value uh, and higher the wave higher the rate of fire is so the tank will move faster um, in the later waves um and and it can also shoot like it, it can also shoot the players so the tank can fire 
tank cannons and it will just get the position of the player and shoot a cannon uh, like shoot a cannon just uh, towards the player that's it uh, the entire wave system is handled in the hero class so the hero class uh, currently uh, like manages the wave system so what it does is it it constantly checks for the count of tanks that the current uh, current scene has so if it gets below or equal to zero then it will spawn three new tanks and it will also uh, like increment the wave number so we are on the next wave and it will also send the wave number as a parameter uh, of the rate of fire it's also randomized a little bit because uh, as we saw in the game the rate of fire is not exactly the same for every tank so it's also slightly randomized to give the player uh, a, a bit of randomness in the gameplay so it's not that exactly predictable so yep that's um yeah that's pretty much it for the alpha for our final build we plan on making all the sprites uh like new making new sprites and we are also planning on making some sort of ground because currently our tanks are saucers those are supposed to be tanks and they are, they are not supposed to just float there, so they are supposed to have a ground. We are, we are planning to make something like a ground. And we are also planning to make a spaceship. We are also, we'll be also working on the high score system because currently it just, it just counts points, nothing else. No high score, nothing like that. So we'll be uh, planning to change that in the future. And and we'll try. We'll also we also plan on adding another enemy, which will just uh, follow the player um, until it hits the player. So we're planning to make something like that. So yep. So that's pretty much it. Everything is uh, listed in the readme file. How to run the game. What the changes are. What the classes that has been modified. Everything like that so everything is in the readme file yep so that's pretty much it for for alpha thank you so much